Thank you and good morning to your new viewers. Dr. Tell, you are still going to ban Dr. Lwazim Kiz. Eh, Dr. Kiz, you will have a car exam in school. Eh, Kiz, you will have a car exam in school. Eh, you will have a car exam in school. Eu fundei a Unitra, o primeiro decreto em BCHB. Eu me guiei um favor logo, na vez que eu fundei a Medo, não sabe o que é a Neurosurgery. E eu pretei em 2013. Então, ever since then, eu tenho estado em Nelson Street, até o Namad. So, o meu clã não é só com o MPCHB, não não vai neurosurgeon specialist, cuja tese cuja tese ganhando todo o tempo. Eu, é que não vai, cuja tese cuja tese. Um, o MPCHB é um six year, é um six year degree, and then um, internship, community service, then um favor logo, I spent time with general surgery for four years. And then game for a logo I went to go and specialize again. It took you're now it's a um, six, seven year degree. Mm. So um, once we get the corner, it takes long because uh never found the operator mm -hmm. never it's not much wood in our never found the matrakulo in the ning if never ubese theater kulu for and a corner foot must all get deal a oven into pumuhami. So that you was from the operator without the books, etc. So you spend about two or three years just operating. And then you are ready to are to pull me in mind, you to know yours man when I'm going private. Pella Masculum and neurosurgeon, Sculum and Labo Tortel, I keep my mind of my big and by operate. Can't eat Maxil officially, Tortel Mohajan. Kuna li dentisti, kuna li otu dentisti, kuna li di maxos lo facial, kandi li tifara biya nga li ubi anu? Ok, starting with maxos lo facial, I think firstly we must acknowledge that maxos lo facial and oral surgery is a very rare specialty. Hence you see most of patients don't even know it. So in definition a maxos lo facial is a dental specialty. Uh, that combines uh, surgical training and dental expertise to treat a variety of uh, diseases, injuries, tumors, cancer, deformity, and left uh, um, um, to, to, to make sure that you correct those uh, uh, situations. And then I've got a, a nice um, you know, model to demonstrate um, about it. When you look at the you know, human face, it, it, it might look small, Mm -hmm. But um, I mean, in terms of size and structure, but in function, it's very uh, uh, big and very important because you've got a lot of um, vital structures that are contained within the the face. You look at uh, you know the four sinuses. I mean, I mean the four um, 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 senses uh, out of five, like your vision from your eye, your smelling from your nose, hearing from the ears. Your, your 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 breathing, your your your, your swallowing and all of that. So this uh, um, 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 structures that are contained in here. Uh, okay, the other thing that I, I forgot to mention that uh, face also is where you know it gives one uh, identity and facial expression. So you can imagine uh, if you get injured, uh, you may not look as beautiful as you were before. So that is why. Um, you know, part of the objective and goal of managing that uh, condition uh, will be to make sure that we restore those function and your, you know, your, your looks back. So, mm. in in a, in a nutshell, this is what makes the facial um, it's all about. And then, uh, yeah, it's a specialty in dentistry, like you mentioned, other mm. orthodontist, orthodontist, and you know, there's a few of uh, mm. specialty within dentist. I know wow. most of people they think dentist by itself is, yes. is a specialty. It is not. You get you know about five, six, seven more oh. of specialty in dentistry, and then um, to do it, uh, you go for uh, undergraduate training okay. for five years uh, for degree of dentistry. From there, you know, you go work for a few years and then you go back to postgrad. Uh, that's where you do four years, further four years, and then you qualify as a 
specialist mix with a facial and oral surgeon. So Leona, it's a woman 10 years, 12 years old. Exactly, yeah. Whoa. Mm. No, but Baba Alaba. But no, Naga, as a King Yako just or the Doctor Mohajane, Uswara Kai Hai, a metric we really we read the guy. Kicking Yakaba to Baba on a word. Huba, Maxilo facial, Aunya Gerro, Ube. Maybe go to the same you know. Mm. It takes a, a, a black child from there, go rural. Dr. Mukhaja, no Okay, I'm from a small rural village in the area of Denilton, the mm. village called Emakala Lukhuilere. Yeah, that's where I was born and bred up, did my primary school, my secondary. From there, I went to Medunza to do a degree in dentistry for five years. Okay. Work, went to Nespre in Tamba Hospital, worked for about five years, and then went back to Vet Circuit to specialize in this uh, specialty. Then I'm currently I'm back in Nespre working in private practice and key at private hospital. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ah, mm -hmm. nil spray. Mm -hmm. Now my specialties are to the SMU, 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 the the Maswabiza, Uglimala going on. Doctor Muhajan says, Kumbi, good born of us. Nina Jama head injured a head a neurosurgeon. My trauma head injuries. Nisu and Nubuga go big at it. Okay, um, Uglimana Wakanda. Um, when's the baby? Okay, uh, Ulimana at the accident scene. Now, Shaka Kona Wakanda. Now, Ushaka Kona Wakanda, who gets a name in Ning in a corner of food. In that um, I demand the, the actual skull that looks a bit similar. Mm -hmm. um, where the actual skull bone yeah. can get damaged. Now, where's the foot? That is called um, uh, where we call this Bonagana concave leg. That is called an open injury. Now, we back on Nagamaima injuries. Now, we turn to the corner. Come right. Now, those injuries are called closed injuries because Now, if we Sabanga or look at Ingondo as jelly, now if Ujeli a plate and you shake it, the jelly shakes. Mm -mm. Now, in the end, the guy on a party can't land. But in King, and is that the jelly will hold its form. But in La, the party, it really, really does not hold its form because of the impacts, the large impacts of us and the guy. The same thing that if you tattoo jelly, also. But now, don't do that, you're my end, the guy within the scalp. Mm -hmm. Now, isn't this in the guy you get mind that that is the initial injury or it will lie? Now, Muba Konage, go to a primary injury, get your uncle. Then you get what we call a secondary injury again, mind. Now, the secondary injury in the guy is not for the crying, it must only male, it's not only a kind and the malay. Using my uncle now for two of the man and then told me to now, so I was a perfume lagash. Now, Mama was a perfume lagash. The oxygen in Zemba is was with the figure kind of mm -hmm. Now that is what we call secondary damage. Okay. Now, Tina, last thing in the corner is that we try and prevent secondary damage from happening or to limit any secondary damage. The initial one, there's nothing we can do about it. Sure. It's the secondary damage there is a we limit because if you don't get enough oxygen, if you don't get enough blood, we can cope with the kinder by getting a If we so the and the prevent further damage from happening. Oh,
Usually, look shy sega. Who call with him to an hour in Petemi, hour a candle, go back on with him in Clamber Nigu, a car accident. Never is the pissing in King and Clamber, or by the Bashanga Bezanana, as soon as the cause of the head injuries. Well, the general motion is written that it's car accidents. A who are going Ghana, um, Mauda, no Mundo, Mandi. All that energy that is transferred to the face is also transferred to the to, to Nanai Kanda foot. So okay, anything that affects Ikanda or Itinji Kanda that will cause damage to the brain. Now Uglimana Wakanda it, it varies. Mm -hmm. It it might be minor to major. Okay. And even the major leading up to death. So okay, it it it's it's a it's a scale. Ugutena umomo limana ulimala ganga ganani, and how severe it is. So in 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 severe injuries, abanda bas tola yo utol ugutena umtu ushona get the same, and there's really not much we can do about it at that point. Okay, ni funuko asla. Kuko egonze utu utol utu um umagi umtu esimamu uyate tala pa e e labor room. Then we go back home. We don't plan. We buy a new dress. We go to hotel and we buy a new And then sometimes we spend the same thing. We go to back to our hometown. Now my incident a common gang gang and we go to our cousin my head injuries. Okay, now that's the beauty part of Ungulungulu. Wait, I bona. I guess we should never say bona. I think now and then. Is that there are these lines? These lines. Okay. These lines here at the back. Mm. Now, most of them many to get to about 18 to 21, so only this is fully formed. Now, most of them you get this bone here. Nana, nana, nana. the part of the foot is in the foot. And, konke nana matambo nana avulegi in the foot. Even if you have a nana, you can forget. And more than that, and I'm afraid to go to all the other things. But especially the newborns, more than that, and I'm afraid to go to all the other things. Corner space, corner space, corner space. Now, more trauma through the birth canal because of these spaces, the head will collapse a bit, so that you go into trauma. Then also put me in everything will go back to normal again. Mm. Now, even if you're doing um, assisted deliveries, um, forced okay. deliveries, the only reason though, they squash the head. But the things that there is leeway. Okay. Over to now, who collapse, who pull me, then gang over, over a period of a day or so, then everything goes back to normal. And then, yeah. But even then, the shape of the head is mm. determined by what we call this we call them sutures but again as they close then they give you the, sh the shape of the head mm -hmm. but no shape of the head is also determined by wutina ingondo yako mapagati ikula gama gamani ui kaze gavanzu doktor mkize lindaba mwaba nyeazi kukona laba wa sekaya ama lala wakana wuti ngati mankujo mtoana wato nzo wa limala intloko ui kaze le dogotela na mtanje sine clarity wuti gwenza gala nikatele Dr. Mkajan, there are more and more maxillofacial fractures. So, what are the causes? Part of this is the accident. What are the causes of the maxillofacial injuries? Okay, mainly it's um, intrapersonal violence assault, especially in South Africa. Mm. I, mean, I mean, that does suggest that um, our community within the country is very rough. Secondly, mm. on the list, it's uh, uh, motor vehicle accidents you get uh, sports-related injuries, okay. uh, industrial injuries, uh, even animals. You can also get a fracture because of a pathology. Maybe there's a cyst in your jaw, then okay. you just get a spontaneous fracture. So these are the, you know, the possible causes of these uh, fractures. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Mm. So, has it been regular like that? So, the the fractures. Who are the these little 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 differentiator? Bian. Who are the these little little fractures? Oh yes. Mm. Okay. Um. 
uh, what we do, uh, we, we, we divide or we classify the phase in, in, in three uh, third. I mean, yeah, in three third. Uh, the first third is from the biting line to the lower part of the lower jaw, the mandible. And then uh, the middle third is uh, from the biting line just below uh, your, your okay, actually uh, above, below the eye rather, below the eye. And then the upper third is uh, from the up this side of the eye right to the vertex of the head. And then from there, um, we can further uh, classify the lower jaw, the mandible. You can have a fracture of the, let's see if they can see. This part of the lower jaw, we call it a condyle. You can have a fracture of it. And then just to, you know, uh, say something about it. Um, it's very, uh, you know, dangerous if you can have a fracture of the head of the, I mean, of the, this conduct because it forms the part of uh, what you call a TMJ, tomboromandibular joint. And we know a joint is a closed uh, space. So when you've got a fracture of the, you know, this part of the uh, bone, you'll get a bleeding inside. Uh, and then that bleeding, because it's enclosed, it might uh, organize itself and calcify, meaning a phone bone. And then that bone will breach. Uh, as you can see, it, 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 it's less seen. If they can see, you can see it's a joint, it moves. Mm -hmm. So if there's a bony bridge, uh, you get what we call um, uh, uh, ankylosis, meaning the jaw can't uh, open now. Okay. You can't even move a, a centimeter. Okay, I just wanted to say something about that. The other thing that you can get, especially um, if uh, you, you sometimes you get patient uh, having an impact here on the chin, okay. so all the forces can be transmitted here. Sometimes you can get uh, this uh, part of the joint, part of the bone, uh, perforating into the brain, in middle cranial fossa, which is a, a serious life-threatening, uh, you know, uh, situation. From there, you just classify which part of the, uh, you know, lower jaw. You can have an angle, call it a body, a chin, call it a symphysis. And then from there, we go to uh, the metal third. That's where you talk of maxi, I mean, the, the, the four fractures. Normally, it's a fracture that will just come, uh, this oh. area to come here. And then uh, it's a four one, the four two will come here, and then I come this side. The four three will involve this part. Normally, you know, you get fractured where the weak, I mean, where the bone is weak. You mm -hmm. know, the weakest mm -hmm. part of the bone, that's where it will likely fracture. Yeah. Okay. And then you can also have a fracture of the orbital volume inside. The mm -hmm. zygoma, the frontal sinus, the mm -hmm. nose, you know, the dead bone, and then they get uh, treated differently. They, oh, you treat them differently. Uh, yeah. uh, so, give thing a common, more, more much officially, bone, it get a lot of leg from an hour, give on a Okay, uh, a very good question. Um, it's a lower jaw, what you call a mandible. Okay. Uh, why, why? The reason uh, for that is because it, it's mobile. Yeah. It's mobile and then uh, it's also like a protruded, it's in front. Yes. And then also, normally, like I said, assault is the main uh, cause of this fracture. Mm -hmm. You find that uh, when you get assaulted, the, uh, the somebody who's uh, assaulting you, normally they target the, the, the lower jaw. Sure. They won't, you know, throw your fist, I mean, their fist to your forehead. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they target, uh, you know, the lower jaw. And then it fractures uh, more often. So how can I hear maybe more to only accident thing or whatever we should feel but bone mo but but focus on more breathing it can do only limb and fibula fracture and then it, it, it was misdiagnosed it it all here at complications I think yeah um um if uh, it doesn't get treated uh, mm. firstly uh, you might get an infection because yeah. normally when you've got a fracture you'll get uh, fragments of bones, pieces of bones within the fracture line. And then if those uh, fragments were not removed, debrided, they'll act as a foreign uh, debris, which will induce infection. Also, you find that uh, there's a, a change in, you know, occlusion, the way you bite. Mm -hmm. Patient will tell you, you could see, when I bite on my left, the right side is open, I can't chew. Um, also, you can have uh, what uh, anesthesia or paresthesia. My lip is numb, I can't feel it because there were nerves that were inside the bone fragment that are pressed, hence they can't function. 
Um, and the other thing you can find a, a, a facial asymmetry. You find that the jaw is uh, is shifted. Come on, sighting lily lily one. Okay. And then uh, generally, like if you talk of generally, uh, um, even the eye. Sometimes you get a fracture uh, within the eye orbit because the the, the, the socket it, it it's surrounded by bone. So if you get a fracture, especially on the on the floor of the orbit, mm -hmm. uh, you find that the eye suck inside, you know, mm -hmm. because it's a very thin bone there. It can easily suck inside. And then the result will see. Um, I mean, the result will be patient will see. Uh, I, I, I've got a double vision because of a change of position. The eye was not, uh, you know, uh, repositioned to where it belongs. Yeah, something like that. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay, speaking of a uh, uh, plaster, um, we've got a two a uh, uh, method. Uh, they call it a closed reduction, okay. or oh. fixing the bone and open reduction. Mm -hmm. So closed reduction, orthopedic, uh, they put what patients call cement, cement. Yes. You know, right now because we can't put the cement when you are broken mm -hmm. on your jaw. So what do you do? That's why you see uh, patients with wires, with their mouth shut. Yeah. The reason is that is to make sure that we, we immobilize the fracture. We don't want it to move mm -hmm. because the bone will only heal when it's fixed, when it's still, when there's no movement between the fragments. Mm -hmm. So we put the wires uh, around the teeth and then the patient will be like shut mm -hmm. for about six weeks. Normally, teeth, I mean, a bone will need uh, six weeks to heal. And then... Otherwise, uh, we put, uh, like when you do open reduction, that's where you will cut the gums and open and expose the bone. Uh, and then you put this, uh, I think this shows nicely. Yeah, the patient would have had a fracture here. Uh, this one will also show nicely. Can you see there's a fracture here? So what do we do? Uh, you know, we open the gums, expose the, the bone, and then you treat it directly. You put this plate and screw that also, mm -hmm. even the neurons, they use the, you know, this plate and screw. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I think what I'm giving my hand is just to show you that uh, if you use one plate here, because of the muscle pull on the jaw, uh, uh, you find that uh, this thing will keep on moving like this. And then when it does this, uh, you will, you won't find a bony union. There, mo there will be a fibrous union. Then when you, you, your patient try to chew it, find that the jaw just tangled and, you know, it's uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. So that's why, you know, you get to, to make sure that it's fixed, it's stable, and then the bone heals without um, a, a problem. I think still under, like you ask of possible complications, mm -hmm. um, thinking of it, uh, you can have a, 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 a um, like a, a um, sometimes you get a, a non-union of bone or a malunion. Malunion will be, the bone will be healed, but it will be a, like a shifted. Obviously when the patient bites, the teeth won't come together nicely. And like we're saying, the, especially the, um, the management of uh, these bones, the, 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 the ultimate goal is to give the patient back uh, the bite, the mm. occlusion, because I'm sure you know if you sometimes you can bite on a small onion or the sweet onion or something mm. hard, it was uncomfortable. You feel that the teeth on the other side doesn't come together, but here they come together. Mm -hmm. uh, or sometimes when you have a dental, you know, feelings, if you, the that patch is a little bit higher, when you bite, you can feel good. Say, hey man, you know, I can't chew this side. So that's why it's very critical to give patient back. We call it occlusion, like biting. Uh, Nicely so that you can enjoy your food and chew. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And then, uh, yeah, maybe mm. it's still on that. Mm. Uh, like we're not only treating the 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 the, um, the, the facial fractures. Also, yeah. patient with tumors. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Some patients they come with tumors and cancer. So what you do? You know, cancer surgically you remove it. Mm. After removing it, now you must uh, reconstruct. Mm. Because can you imagine if the jaw is like this, and then you cut here, you cut here. Now there's a gap. There's no yes. teeth. It's you know even your shape will change. So we do what they call a bone graft. We take a bone somewhere oh. from your body. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. And then uh, uh, 
we graft it here. We can mill it and make it a powder like, or take a you know a normal bone and bend it according to the arc, and then we put this uh, plate to you know secure it. We can even later put a uh, dental implants here, frost it to give you back uh, your 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 occlusion. The other thing still on that. Uh, uh, like this uh, TMJ joint is very important. Sometimes you've got a tumor involving this part of the you know joint. So if you cut it like in this side, if you cut it, obviously the you, the, the occlusion will shift. Um, so to restore it, we do a, a we replace the joint, artificial joint, as you can see here, so that the patient is uh, you know um, we give hmm. occlusion back. It's a it's a it's a, it's a lot. Yeah. Mm. Um, Doctor baby shake syndrome. And I want to Okay. Let's start with the brain itself. If Momo Ibona, it weighs about. Um, three, four kgs. Okay. The actual brain itself. But now, my nanga pagat. There is the the fluid amounts around it, which is called the ilo, because it's cerebral spinal fluid. Mm. Now, no fluid lay, or basically what it does is that it it provides a cushion, and it also cleans the brain, mm. and it also provides nutrients for the brain as well. Now. When the brain is seated in there, the weight here decreases to about 500 grams. Okay. Now, let's see a surfing jamba around it. It mm -hmm. provides cushion so that during any normal movement, mm -hmm. so that your brain does not hit the skull in front, it does not hit mm -hmm. the skull in, as, as you move. Mm -hmm. It provides that cushion okay. under normal circumstances. Now, jamba machine on the water now. The brain basically is in a DJ. Mm. Okay. Now, most of the time, mm. you can even try it at home Wednesday. Take jelly, mm. put it in a, in, a, in, a, in a dish, and then shake it. And then you're going to start seeing cracks forming as yep. you're shaking it on the jelly. Mm. Now, log or Wednesday, as you're shaking it. It's the same thing the ends and an apparati as we shake her in that. And then you imagine all the blood vessels that are there, I need to because they're in a they can't move too much because the muscle there's not a lot of give. Then you move when blood vessels do this, then they shear. Then you move man again again. Then we told you in Ghana um that in a high. I went to the CT scan. There's a bleed. Mm. Now, we again. Now, we are going to go to the CT We are shaking now. Okay. Then, we are going to the to So, okay. In Ghana, you don't do this. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> she... Don't do that. Mm. Mm. You don't do that. No matter how angry you are, and you unga for no gumshaya, and you mama umuti. No. Wow. Imagine jungo ba usikazi, lugo tu kuba na ma contusion, kuba na ma bleeding. Yesi pesi yingi nzi vela uma ma mutani mala na imkondo ni. Okay. Now the thing is that. You, those initial injuries, Ebona, the, the, the brain is divided into two. You get around the grey matter. Yes. And then, now the grey matter basically, um, um, it's what we call the, um, the nuclei that, that are there. And then you get the white matter, which are actually the axons, because mm -hmm. a nerve cell has got a, a nucleus and then it's got the axon. Now the axon, Basically, Ula, where the message from the nucleus is transmitted through to wherever and then the nerve is going. So, okay, you've got all these around, which is called the gray matter. Mm -hmm. and then in Wagonobo, the axons that are combined 
which flow emerge to the rest of the body, those are called uh, the, those are the axons, which is called the white matter. Now, the two have got different weights. Okay, so again, okay, now the grey matter is heavier than the white matter. Mm. Now, Jemba, who heavier than the white matter? If you shake, if you do anything, and there's a sudden stop, they both this is all my, at different paces. Mm. The one that is heavier is going to take longer to stop. The one that is light is is, is lighter, takes shorter to stop. So okay, now, what do you get? You get nucleus, that's the axon. Heavy, light. We stop. Stop quickly, takes longer to stop. Now, when that happens, they snap. That's, that's where again, we, we, we try to manage you don't need diffuse axonal injury. Mm. Now, the things that the diffuse axonal injury is, is basically histolog histological diagnosis where mm. you take mm. and then you look underneath the microscope. But you can't do that. Yeah. Now, how do you infer what you would find to microscope to? Because then you look at the CT scan, you manage to try and see which is again. More bigger is scan which diffuse axonal injury is it. Mm, mm, mm. Now, a CT scan will tend to good enough because in, in normal cases, if you do a CT scan, it comes out it's normal, but it is in a coma. Mm. Then you know what you know, that was a diffuse axonal injury. So, I'm rely on a CT scan of make a matter. How we are rely on a CT scan or especially uh, uh, certain fractures. Normally, the lower jaw, the mandible, mm -hmm. play normal x ray will do. But when you go oh. to the eye, the zygoma, the cheekbone, mm -hmm. you CT scan, it's a, it's a co standard. So, what are we to have a little more accident? Everyone who comes in and open and carry this muzzle uh, head injuries, she needs to go to for for CT scan. That person. Standard. Okay. Um, when you talk about that, since we know as before, see God, God, what if? I'm sending body like CT scan. Now we want to go to bleeding lab. You better treat that guy. Okay. It 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 depends. Mm. If um, like I said, which in the hematoma. Now, my hematomas, you get two types. Mm. You get the epidural, you get subdural, and then you get my intracerebral. Now, all of those oh, oh, you are classified because of the layers of the brain that, that come around. Now, you've got the actual brain itself is covered by a layer which is called the pile matter. Then get above that, you've got the arachnoid. Then above that, you've got the jura. Now, all those layers, they are there to protect the brain fruit. Mm. Um, like I always say to people, Utina, the body is there to serve the brain. Mm, mm, mm. And the my tongue. Now, the thing is that everything is there to, 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 to protect the brain and everything. Now, anything, any bleed that comes from above the jura is called an epidural hematoma. Mm. Now, those hematomas, kakul, are caused by fractures of the skull. Because the meantime, the electrohama arteries that take blood to the brain, and, and they go straight underneath the skull. So okay, now if the scar is cracked, then the bleeding will happen. Now those are emergencies. And you mm. need to take the patient to theater immediately okay. to evacuate that bleed because mm. once you remove the bleeding, the person lives. Mm. complications again. An epidural will mm. continue to bleed, mm. so it will get bigger and bigger and bigger. Now you've got a finite space, Langapagatikand. Now you get what we call raising trochanal pressure. In pressure, in the kind of it goes up. Once it starts to go up, then you move 
the structures inside the actual brain, it will start to use of taller spaces of pool. Mm. Now it's only got two spaces or one space in a puma gulio, which is here. Now once the brain starts to come out of here, here is where the spinal cord comes out. And you have the, the place now where it where your your breathing apparatus, where mm. your heart rate, everything. Your gindoyens are your that you are not aware of or you don't control when yourself. Mm. That area gets squashed. Once it's squashed, it's like pele. Imagine you sweat over the la Mukhajan at six. Sometimes again, they would tell you to tumble the Lishabe Ibrain. Nins and Jan Massa in Lapon City at a near Manibiza born with Boyanis also sit tumble in Gonzagaland. Okay, um, where we work the pool with my Ama Maxolo facial uh, doctors mm. is injuries that mainly happen round about here in the front. Mm. Now, what usually happens, Gakulu, is that I need to. Okay, let me open this uh, with your permission. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now, the thing is that this is what we call the base of the brain. I need to the, the brain compartment in our body. It's divided into two. You've got the supratentorial, you've got the infratentorial. Mm -hmm. Now, the tentorial is in this area here. It covers this area. So okay, now, whatever is above it, is what we call supratentorial, and whatever is below it is infratentorial. Now, and there's a, a whole lana. I, I don't want to get too technical, which is <laughs> where the, the actual axons and everything, they move through. Mm. Now, when the injury is here, which we call the anterior cranial fossa, now we are going to now go to the roof of the eye. Mm is the base of the brain. Yeah. <laughs> now, anything that happens in this area here, we have to manage together. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Because when, when, when there's a leak, or muscles go inside, or anything that happens in Lana, then we have to open, and then fix this area here, and then close again. Mm. Okay. So okay, this is where we you, you usually find in theater I will come, I will open mm, and I'll remove this part, mm. they work, mm. then I close. Oh that's mm. nice. Wouldn't be selling patient back no, no, to the no, theater no, no. Okay. They, Yeah, it, it it has to be coordinated mm, when mm, you mm. go to theater. So I'm sorry to where I open, they work, oh. and then after that I close. That Ubalulega go seven Zisana, Kwama colleagues, Kwama specialist, Naboto Hotel, Kangena Bangi foot foot auto hotel, Ubalega Kulu, Omasiza, who management of the patient. Doctor Mohaja, I must beg a lana who is also she good way in a auto hotel or my tambo was in swing. A Bama tambo, who corner e dislocation, a common Gakulu shoulder dislocation. Nagin who corner e look e dislocation, yet here, Timmy. Yeah, I was puzzling. I open gang one man to a figure moon that to be got to a Samula section in the lap and blogging. It was puzzling and a Timmy dislocation. Yeah, like I, 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 I explained earlier that, um, um, uh, there is a joint here yes. that connects the lower jaw and the, you know, the, the middle face. So sometimes um, when you, okay, the possible cause is when you um, yawn too much, I mean you, you open your mouth too much, mm. it can happen just talking, singing or eating. Oh. But normally, I mean, there are, not everybody will just look at it. Normally it's because uh, um, there are structures that uh, hold the two bones together your ligaments, uh, your muscles, I mean, sometimes even the bone itself, those are the factors that can lead that. The, um, if, if, if the cartilage, uh, they use lax, mean they stretch easily, you know, instead of, because uh, those mm, structures, they hold the joint together so that it doesn't just move anyway. So if they're too, you know, uh, uh, lax or elastic, it can easily, you know, come out of the socket. So. Um, when it's dislocated, it will come out of uh, this area here, and then what will happen is going to do this, and then uh, something like this. If and that is out of the socket, okay. and there's going to be something like this, and then uh, um, 
Sometimes, you know, it's self-reducing, meaning patient can just easily, you know, take it back when they try to maneuver their jaw. Sometimes oh. it's difficult to need, mm. uh, you know, our attention. And then uh, what we do, um, you know, we just maneuver, there's a way of maneuvering the lower jaw to, you know, reduce the joint. <laughs> yeah, because it's very painful, uh, mm. you know, when the joint is, is, is dislocated because those muscles and, uh, um, and, and cartilages are stretched. So it's very painful. So when you try to maneuver the patient, uh, you know, might easily bite you back, mm. you know. So um, the simple way, it's a, a, um, I think you hold a, a jaw like this okay. because... Um, and then what you do, you pull it down, uh, and then uh, you slide it back, back into the, uh, you know, the 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 the, the fossa where it belongs. Okay. Yeah, you just need to be careful and be fast when you do that. Okay. Mm -hmm. But that is a uh, possible if the it is an acute thing. It happened, you know, uh, uh, today or yesterday. Mm -hmm. Some patient they come after a month. Yes. And then uh, there's a uh, with the muscles there now. Uh, they're stiff, they're fibrosed, it's difficult, you know, because uh, normally you can do this uh, just on a chain uh, in, in casualty, uh, but if it's difficult, uh, you need to take patient to theater, oh, try oh. to paralyze the muscle, make mm. it loose, and then maneuver it. Sometimes, if it's that difficult, you can even open, you know, make a surgery now, mm. you know, pull it back, you know, through the pre, yeah, and then in, uh, just wanted to add on the positive. There are some medication also that um, you know can cause uh, the, the, the 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 ligament to to, to be just loose. Oh. And what we find is it mainly uh, happen on a on a on a female. Reason for that is not yet established, but we mainly see a uh, few males mm -hmm. coming with a uh, dislocation. And then uh, um, sometimes uh, you, they, they are classified into two acute one and then. That just happen one, then you fix it. Yes. But most of the time, if you have it, you you know you have it now and yes. then. And then if you, you you have those that comes uh, with a recurrent. They mm. say always, always, always. Then in that case, uh, you need to you know do a surgical intervention. Okay. And then when you do surgical intervention, uh, you look at the structures that are involved in joint stability. Like I said, bone itself, cartilage and muscle. So you do with either of them. You know, uh, you can also uh, put a just take a blood from the patient, inject within the you know the 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 the, 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 the capsule. So what they do, they do a fibrosis around there so that it's not losing to go anywhere when it's tough and stiff. You, sometimes uh, they happen because the muscles are, uh, are, are, are spasm. What you can do, you can put even Botox just to relax those muscles. Mm. Sometimes when those muscles are relaxed, if it mm. comes out, it goes back because they are not, you know, stiff. And then you can do surgery to modify the bones that are around so that, uh, um, you know, it doesn't, um, it doesn't move out easily or it moves easily but easily, you know, go back also. So, mm. yeah, there's a, a few modalities for, for doing that. Okay, okay. Mm. Uh, in terms of a uh, road accident, um, 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 you know, the injuries, mm. very critical safety belt. You know, we always see patients with massive fractures, mesh face. When you ask them, did you have a safety belt? No, I didn't. Mm -hmm. I was just going to crash to buy bread. You don't do that. Yeah. Whether you're just going around the corner, safety belt, you don't know what may happen. Mm -hmm. Truck might come and smash you. Mm -hmm. So, and I'm telling you, those who have a safety belt, when they come in, if they've got a fracture, just going to be a single fracture here mm -hmm. that is easily to be managed. Yeah, safety belt is very, very critical. We, you know, struggling to put a message across to our patients. Um, mm -hmm. Because remember when you don't uh, put a safety belt, when you got accident when the car roll, you will roll like a ball inside the car. You had mm. heat left and right seats and da 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 da. And then in terms of e, uh, uh, um, uh, injuries from the sports, uh, uh, you know those cricket shield thing, yeah, yeah those things, uh, you know they can use that. 
and then uh, interpersonal violence uh, i don't know but the uh, patient must i mean must just avoid you know involving the, the, themselves into um you know violence you find most of them say no nekilamola nekilamola yeah i would be so no that no exactly and then yeah i mean there are those and then the other thing critical net that i must mention uh, avoiding those fractures normally you get uh, those teeth that they call wisdom teeth that the last tooth uh, on the jaw normally uh, because of lack of space of the arc they erupt late and then find that they stuck within the jaw and then when they stuck within the jaw uh, you find that this area of the jaw is weak okay. yeah a mild impact can fracture especially on the angle of uh, you know this jaw it fractures easily we always we always advise them that remove them so that uh, uh, there's no a, a cavity within your anger because otherwise this area is very weak. That's why uh, when we're asking which part of the mandible, um, of the jaw, the anger especially, you know, that fractures easily because of there's a tooth inside, the jaw at that area is very weak, is compromised. Yeah, part, part, part of uh, avoiding them or preventing them, you know, those things. And then, uh, like the others, like uh, animal kicks. I mean, mm -hmm. sometimes people mm -hmm. get kicked by animal. I don't know how to say avoid <laughs> play from animals in factory. People must mm -hmm. be careful. Okay. Find patient where much you know, you know, all those things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Our little boy had a knock. To go to them kids. Oh, my turn. I would see. I want to be funded. I'm trying to get my head injured. But put the Oh, my head injuries. Um, like you said, most of the time, I belt. Whether it's turning a pambil or turning a mover, I use a belt. Be sensible, more more when you're driving. I know what you're using is in society. Um, the accident is not your fault. It's another person's fault. But the things that if people are sensible you know, when they're driving, that that's the best thing. Don't drink and drive. Mm, mm. Um, and people who got motorcycles as well, the helmets very important. So be cautious and safety. Be sensible. Mm. That, that's 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 all I can say. Be sensible, and um, and interpersonal things like even fights they cause head injuries. Stay away from. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But but gas people are only fear of only me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so stay away from fights. No one would um do, or say pozile and do no kogo. Just stay away. Mm. It's better to walk away mm. and then be called a coward mm -hmm. than what you know um umbe only man. Kanti, eh, if it was complication, kuma head injury sinje le ugu tui. Is the worst of them all. Yeah. <laughs> 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 um, you know it. You know it. It ranges because um, from death mm. you get to be what they call a vegetative state. La usen usen peteni. You can't do anything. You dependent on everybody else. What um, you, you can get, become quadriplegic. Um, luckily nowadays, even those who are paraplegic, there is rehabilitation for them. Um, they can use wheelchairs and they can still go back to, to normal society and be productive um, as a paraplegic. Um, in other, um, in milder forms where you get what we call the post-concussion syndrome, mm -hmm. where it lasts on for very long, where you get headaches. Okay. And those headaches don't go away. Mm -hmm. And you, are, you are always got headaches, you always got headaches. Now the thing is that you, doctors become frustrated because they can't treat your headache. Mm. Now of course you become frustrated because we have got a water in the hi, I've got a headache. And people, they give you medication and I'm looking. Um, depression comes in, and then people have suicidal thoughts. So it's 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 a range of, of, of things that. Mm -hmm. that, that, that mm -hmm. can mm -hmm. Yes, 
The, now those happen especially if the brain was lacerated in any way. Mm. So let's say if umtu uh, with a hammer or a stone and the bone cracked and it, it lacerated the brain, seizures. You're mm. definitely going to get seizures. Uzvele na wela kumbugeli ekaya, sifundi le gavante na mshanje ngama head injuries, kanya na mama zilo facial injuries. Nibo ngui hambele zame doctor mkeze, na we doctor mkajani. Nisa lega shi baba bugeli makaya, sifinde sifuna nefuti. Same time, Saturday, 9 o'clock, eze mpilo nzuwa mutakalo. Ninga kwa subscribe kuma YouTube wami, noma ku Facebook ka Dr. Pro.